Hi there, Lee Griggs Arnold, rendering specialist at Autodesk. And I just want to cover how to shade and light this robot using Toon Shader. And we'll also cover some different style variations using various Arnold shaders. Okay, so I've got the geometry here. I'm going to start off by creating an Arnold Skydome Light. Light, Skydome Light. And I'll set off an Arnold Render. Let's create a Toon Shader and assign it to the geometry. Okay, so we won't see any two images by default because the filter type is set to Gaussian by default. So I need to change that to contour bottom. Now we can start to see the two edges. I'm going to reduce the angle threshold so we can see more edges, something like 30, a lot more detail. Next, we want to get some interesting specular highlights on the model. So what we can do is create a stylized highlight. So that's under specular stylized highlight. So let's create a directional light. Just scale that up, rotate it so it's pointing in front and maybe just lift it, just rotate it so it's pointing down. Now we need to copy the shape name of the light. So copy and paste the text and go to the stylized type and paste it into the lights there. And we just increase the specular so we can start to see it there. So getting the stylized highlight from the directional light. So if I rotate, rotate it around, you should see the effect it's having. You can have more than one light for the stylized highlight. So if I was to duplicate this light, rotate it around. You won't notice anything in by default because we haven't used the shape name. So just again, copy the shape name text, go to the stylized highlight and then press space and then the name of the second highlight. If you're not sure if it's working, you can always change the color of the directional light so we can see its effect now. So I'm just going to rotate it so we get a second highlight here. Be ducking it down a bit. I'll just get this effect here. Now the edges are quite thick uh, uniformly across the, the geometry. What we can do is go to the edge with scaling and connect a facing ratio shader here. That will thin the edges around the outside here. Let's focus on more on the inside. But we want the opposite, so if you just hit and invert. It may not be obvious at the moment. So if we increase the contour filter width to something like three, it should be a bit more apparent that the two edges are thicker and the edges here and thinner in the center. It just gives a more pleasing comic book style. You can always change the uh, settings. So I was to put these back to the default, so this is how it was before. See, it makes a, a lot of difference with the facing ratio. Connected to the width scaling. Next, we could add a ambient inclusion shader to the mask color that will give us a more gritty, stippled uh, effect. Be too much by default, so we need to increase the black levels. I think like 0.96. You can see the effect around here. If it's too much, you can always reduce the far clip. So let's focus around more of the edges. Also increase the quality as well. Okay, so I'm going to delete that and then create another style. I'm going to use the half tone shader. It's now a cell shader. We're connected to the base tone map. It's under base tone map. Create an ISO shader there. Get the out value to base tone map. And then we need to import the halftone OSL shader. If you're not sure where that is, the 
documentation, there's a documentation page about using the Halftone OSL shader with the Toon shader. And there's a link to the OSL shaders, 3D Smart Shipping shaders. You can download it here. Once you download it, just import it or copy and paste the text and just make sure you compile it. You will have to update the render, but it currently is not showing by default, so just update the full scene to show the Optune shader, OSL shader. Okay, so it's too big by default, so you just need to scale it down a bit. I can use a ramp to determine where the halftone effect appears. So under input value, just connect to ramp RGB. And then just move the whites, increase the whites. So we now see just the halftone value in the darker areas of the model. Okay, so it's starting to look a bit busy. We can always go back to the Toon shader and under the advanced tab, it could reduce the indirect specular just to clean up some of those indirect specular reflections. And that's looking less, less busy now. Okay, and then finally, if we disable energy conserving and get more of a cartoon tune style. Okay, so that's how to create some various tune styles in Arnold. Thanks for watching. Bye.